Sinatra. All right. Yeah, yeah, homie, I'm coming, I'm coming, and I'm never gonna give up. My mentality is making rappers feel like they can never even live up to logic. You bust, I dodge it. Think you see me now? Nah, you just mirage it. I'm gunning, I'm gunning like a semi-automatic. That's bullet your quick with lyricism to let them have it. I blast it. Any style that you coming at me with, I mass it. I sun motherfuckers, then I'm out on you bastards. Alright, what is up guys? Gonna know the gameplay for you. It's a groundward domination game on the map C Town and as you guys can see I'm using a PP90 with extended mags and rapid fire. Now I don't usually use this setup with this gun anymore and to be honest with you guys I don't usually even use this gun anymore at all. And uh, the reason why I'm using it right here is because I was live streaming when I got this gameplay and uh, during my stream a few people wanted me to try out a different gun. They wanted me to use the PP90 for some reason so I decided to make a PP90 class real quick. And this is actually my first game of using it, and I ended up getting this. A pretty beast gameplay. I got 101 kills with Specialist, I got a Moab, and then I died a few off the double Moab near the end of the game as well. So, it's a pretty beast gameplay. I'm not too sure how many kills I was off the double Moab, but if one of you guys can count, that will be pretty epic. So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, man, this gun is a monster. I'm just tearing through people, and it's really good, so I definitely recommend you guys give it a go. When the game came out, like when it first came out, this is the only gun I would use, but instead of uh, rapid fire, I would have silencer on it, so extended mags and silencer, and then uh, after a while, I just stopped using it, like I just felt that the gun was a bit too weak, and I didn't really like it, and I also got bored of it as well, but, you know, coming back to it now, and using this setup that I am right now with the uh, rapid fire, it just feels like I'm using a whole new weapon, man, it just feels like I'm using a gun that I haven't even used before, and the thing is so powerful, it's ridiculous, but... You know, you're going to be at a disadvantage because uh, you don't have the silencer on it, especially if you're someone who plays a lot like me, like if you're playing styles similar to mine where I'm always in the enemy spawn and I always like to constantly be killing people, then you're going to be at a huge disadvantage. And not having the silencer on this weapon is probably the main reason why I failed to get that double mob because uh, I was in their spawn the majority of the time and, you know, every time I would shoot, uh, these guys would see a red dot on the map and, you know, I would just get ambushed and I would just get killed really easily. So... Yeah, there's a disadvantage with it, but I guess it kind of balances out. I mean, you know, without the silencer, it's really powerful, but then you're going to be on the mini-map, and then with the silencer, it's not as powerful, but then again, your stealth right there, like, you know, it's a huge difference having a silencer in your gun and not having one. It makes it so much more difficult to get high-scoring gameplays, uh, you know, without having a silencer in your weapon. Just, you know, you guys should just test it out for yourself if you want. Like, use a weapon that you're really comfortable with for one hour with the silencer, and then the next hour, use the same weapon without a silencer and see, you know, how well you do and can just compare the two. And I guarantee you, using it without the silencer, you're going to do a lot worse than with the silencer. So yeah, I was also playing uh, against a party in this game. Of course, they weren't the best party, but they were a party of like uh, six or seven guys on the other team. I scroll through their names like on the scoreboard at the end of the game just to show you guys. And, you know, I, like I said, I know they weren't the best, but a party is a party, man. And, uh, you know, these guys obviously had the bigger advantage over me because I was playing solo in this game. So I had no people running support. And I'm proving to you guys that I can get gameplays playing by myself. And since these guys were a party, as soon as I would kill them, they would call out as soon as... Um, you know, we our team would capture a flag, and their entire team would just run towards that same flag and cap it almost instantly. And, you know, right here, they were just camping flags. So, um, you know, they would uh, cap a flag, and then they would just camp the flag and, you know, just uh, defend it. And yeah, that's what parties do. I, I couldn't really say anything. I couldn't really do anything either. So, um, yeah, but uh, that's all I got to say about that. And I joined the game a bit late. I joined it, like, 10 points late. I don't know if that really matters, but I thought I'd just mention it for you guys. So, yeah, that's all I got to say. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. I don't really have a set topic for this uh, commentary. If you guys got some topics you guys want me to talk about in some future videos, definitely let me know because uh, as of right now, I have really nothing to talk about. Like, I'm just going to be talking about some random things. So, uh, yeah, now, first of all, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, what Palestinian said. I'm going to do a follow-up on what he said in his uh, previous video, how he talked about lobby surfing. Because uh, the main reason why he did that commentary is because uh, some dude left a comment on my Triple Moab video talking about lobby surfing and saying how I only got the gameplay because I lobby surf. And basically what it is, if you guys don't know, is when you keep backing out of games until you get into one with a bunch of noobs in it. And uh, I do that a lot. I don't do it just to get into, you know, a lobby with a bunch of noobs in it. I do it for other reasons, okay? I back out a lot of games just because of bullshit, first of all. I also back out if the connection's really bad because you're not going to see me getting a really beast gameplay on a 2 to 3 bar. And I also back out when I'm playing against parties. I hate playing against parties when I'm playing solo. And, you know, once again, you're not going to see me dropping a beast gameplay against a party unless they're really bad like uh, these guys in this game. 
So yeah, that's why I back out. I don't back out to play against noobs, really. I can get a gameplay against uh, anyone. I can get a gameplay against decent players as well, as long as they're not playing in a full party. So yeah, the only time I don't back out is uh, when I'm playing in a party. Because when I'm playing in a party, I should be able to take them all out. And, you know, I shouldn't have a problem. So that's only when I stay in a, in a lobby. But uh, yeah, also I'm going to be uh, doing uh, my helping smaller channel series, whatever you guys want to call it. I'm going to be doing that again. I'm going to help out uh, some of these channels that I believe deserve a bit more recognition. So, you know, if you guys uh, think that your channel deserves a bit more recognition, definitely hit me up. Definitely uh, send me a private message on YouTube and I'll take a look at it. Just keep in mind that my channel is based around high scoring gameplays. So some of the channels that I want to help out, you know, I prefer them to be based around high scoring gameplays as well. But... If you got really beast commentaries, man, that's still okay. Just link me your channel because sometimes, you know, if your commentaries are really good, then I'll also help you out as well. But uh, that's all I really got to say. This gameplay is wrapping up right here. I call in the Moab and, uh, you know, we ended up losing the game, which is really unfortunate. I couldn't really do anything about it, like I said, because I was playing in a full party and, you know, they were constantly communicating with each other and I couldn't really communicate with uh, any of my random teammates. But I guess that's a disadvantage to playing in a party, man. That's why I kind of like, uh, or that's a disadvantage to playing solo. That's why I kind of like uh, playing in a party now. So, you know, I'm guaranteed to win and I'm guaranteed to get uh, a lot of higher scoring gameplays. But that's all I got to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs it up. Don't forget to leave a comment. If we can get this video to over 200 thumbs up, that would really mean a lot. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.